right, writers of SNL, we are counting on you to make this the 47th televised season of our show, SNL, which airs Saturdays at 11.30 on NBC at night. It's our time to write us a good and funny and clever and hilarious and topical SNL segment for this week's SNL show, which airs on Saturday night, January 30th, live on air with host John Krasinski and musical guest Machine Gun Kelly. Get to it, SNL writers. Uh, okay guys, I'm new to this job, so I'm gonna need your help with this. Hey man, I can't help you. I got my comedy degree over quarantine, so I basically just phoned it in. I've been here for four years, but I barely had to do any real work. I just wrote down everything Trump said and just tossed it to Alec Baldwin. Come on guys, SNL's been around forever. Like, it's been there before Trump. Trump, there's gotta be something that we can do that's funny to write about. Mm. Oh, I know. Bernie, you know the whole thing with his mittens on Twitter? My mom made a bunch of them, really bad ones. That, that was gut-bustingly hilarious and topical rolled all into one. Let's do that. Wait, we can't do that. We have to come up with something original, not just recycled jokes from Twitter. Okay, okay, well, Lady Gaga, John Legend, and Demi Lovato performed. And something about a 2013 theme? Woo-hoo-hoo! That's great. That is fantastic. But that's barely even a joke. Uh, okay, well, did you guys hear about those crazy people who tried to break into the cabin with guns? Yeah, that's great. Let's do that. Come on, that's old news. We have to be topical. We could do something rainforest related. Not tropical, topical, like current events. <laughs> Y'all remember the rainforest cafe? Oh, good lord. I can't believe jackalopes are real. What? Yeah, they are. Let's do that. Let's do something with that. That's good. Write that down. Write that down. Look, guys, it has to be something inauguration related. Did you guys even watch it? I watched Michelle Kamala and Joe work those jewel tones. Yes, yes, jewels! Let's do that. If you don't stop, I'm gonna kick you in your jewels. But that was actually a pretty good start. Let's expand on that. We're on a roll. This is better than Celebrity Jeopardy. Okay, I can see you're having an episode. Relax. I think, though, we have enough to air. All right, what's that thing we're supposed to say at the end? Uh, live from the media suite right in the piazza in the Carla Hansen Student Center. It's Quinnipiac Tonight. That's a random college comedy show in Hamden, Connecticut, 06518. How do you know what that is? How do you know what that is? Da 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 With Kayla Jerry. Isabella Caria, Sam Dorlin, Carl Brooks, Will Tear, Autumn Hirsch, Liam Devlin. Laura Smullen, Lacey Ventura, Fiona Stevens, Kira Beckerman, Nicole Miller, Tyler Toledo. With your host, the cast of Quinnipiac tonight. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Quinnipiac tonight. I'm Carl, and this is Kira. We're two of the cast members and two of the hosts for this week. Tonight's a very exciting night because, for the first time in Q30 history, our opening monologue is going to be entirely crowdsourced. For all you simple-minded souls out there, that means you, the audience, gets to write in and tell us what to say. Yep. All of our writers quit because this is the fifth time that they've had to write a monologue for the cast and they ran out of ideas. Okay, so here we go. From here on out, the audience is in control. Shout out to my homie Tom from Guam. Hey, yo! Yo, Steve from the Maldives, is that you, dude? This chat room is sick. How have you been, bro? 
Oh, bro, not great. Grandma died. Oh, shit, bro. I'm so sorry. How? Hit by a train. You know how it is. Yeah, I do. Lots of trains. Hey, guys. What's up? It's me, Sarah, from the Sahara. Uh, Carl, I don't think these people realize they're writing into the show. Shh, dude. I know, but I'm, I'm kind of invested. I want to see what uh, Sarah from the Sahara is like. She sounds hot. Okay. Hey, Sarah, it's your girl, Sammy, from Miami. I can't believe we all ended up in the same weird internet chat room together. Sammy, hey, yeah, IDK what Quinnipiac tonight is, I think it's French. Oh shit, I think a bot just entered the chat. Feeling saucy? There are 67 hot babes over 50 in your area. Click here to see their lewd pics. And that's enough of that. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Oh, wait, somebody else has just started typing. Enjoy the next segment because Boost is dead. Okay. Hello everyone and thank you for coming to this Zoom roll. I know we've been waiting for a few minutes already, but it's been half an hour. <laughs> right, half an hour. But it's only right that we let Boost take its time one last time. Who knew it would be possible to be late to your own funeral? Zoomeral. Funeral, zoomeral, potato, potato. All right, everyone, wipe away your tears and put on your smiles because it's time to put the fun in funeral. To kick it off, we got a few icebreakers. Let's all go around and say what we meant to boost. Well, I guess I'll go first because I'm the favorite. You all know me. You can call me Starbs. <sighs> Boost was one of my closest friends. I stuck around him since day one. No, you didn't. You just used him because he was the only option. You didn't actually like him. Unlike me, Bob, I'm a true day oneer. No one calls you that. They all call you the rat behind your back. Anyway, I'm Rocky Top, and uh, me and Boost were pretty close. You may have had to wait a little longer to hang out with us, but, you know, once you got here, it was always worth the wait. I mean, what were you going to do? Drive down the hill to hang out with these guys? Hey, 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 don't drop me in with these normies. Sorry I'm late. I am the guts above all the rest. And even though I may not have been around as much, you all walked in wishing I was. Aw, Bon, you're late. We were just talking about what Boost meant to all of us. Would you like to say a few words? No. All right then, probably for the best. <laughs> now that we've all shared... Excuse me! Yes, symptom checker app? Do you have something to add? Yes, have you checked in today? Do you have any of the following? Loss of taste, loss of smell, red watery eyes... Right, we get it. Yes, we've all checked in. Now everyone, please bow your heads and join me in prayer. Repeat after me. The Indian, uh, indigenous spirit, Habamak, was doomed to eternal sleep when a spell was cast over him. Vomiting slash diarrhea, body aches, fevers, chills. Shut the f up, I'm trying to pray. Actually, I've been like sneezing and like coughing but I have parties to go to, so <laughs> I'm just gonna say no. <laughs> I took a today and it was a little watery. It's probably from all the general sour sauce I've been drinking. <laughs> Would anyone like some Reese's Pieces? Some Puritos? My God, the Bobcat Den is compromised. Closed until further notice. What? No. Closed until further notice. All right, now that that's over with, we can get back to our business of being sad. Everyone say it with me. Go Bobcats! Roar. Go Bobcats! Go the Bobcats. Hey everyone. Hey, Transact. <laughs> what are you doing here? You killed Boost. Look. Fellas, I know I accidentally hit Boost with my car and then I got out and... 
saw the body and got nervous because I wouldn't do so good in the joint, so I grabbed my little tire iron and I bashed his dainty brain out until it resembled a nice gumbo. But I'm only a humble food service mobile app. I'm flawed. So la vie. Shouldn't we just, you know, live and let live? Oui, yes, viva la revolution. Yeah, but Boost is dead. Like I said, c'est la vie. Au revoir, Monsieur Boost. I, who wants to get out of here and go to the bar? Drinks are on me. <laughs> aren't you, aren't you close? Have you ever wondered what it's like to grow your own frat boy? Well, now you can with Tamagotchi Frat Boys. Buy yours today. Hey there, Bobcats. Welcome back to Quinnipiac. We're so excited to have you back for another semester, but we have to make some changes to ensure your safety. Firstly, unfortunately, we cannot have a spring break in these crazy, unprecedented times, but don't worry. Your five spring break days have been substituted with two mental health days spread throughout the semester. That's right. Our mathematics department hunkered down and determined that five days only equals 48 hours. It only felt like a week because of all the asbestos you've been inhaling. Secondly, we're also implementing fresh air breaks. Oh, looks like my designated breathing time's over. Sure, I look cute now, but when my owner lost his job, it was rough. I was living on the street, and one night, me and this Cocker Spaniel got into it so bad, I wound up looking like an ice cream cone. I cried a little bit, but thankfully I got rescued, so I'm running, I'm jumping, all back to my old self. And I'm ready to give unconditional love, even if you put a lampshade on my head. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. what it's like to grow your own frat boy? Well, now you can with Tamagotchi Frat Boys. Buy yours today. It's here! It's here! Wowee! A Tamagotchi looking device. Alright, let's see what it has to offer. Oh, hey! How's it going? I'm your new Tamagotchi. Please select my name and major. Oh jeez, I can't mess this up. I only have one shot. I cannot miss my chance to blow. This opportunity knocks once in a lifetime. Mm. Oh, I know. I'll call you Chad and make you a business major. So many options. You selected Chad and business major. Where should I go next? I can go to the gym, the frat party, or do philanthropy. Hmm, that's a tough choice. I've never had enough friends to go to a party, and I can't lift more than 20 pounds, but also I feel like helping the community, so I guess I'll choose the party and see what happens. 
Before we do anything, my hunger bar is low. I need some sustenance. I, I mean, substances. Hmm, what does he eat? <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Does it? My dad says I'm too much of a for beer. I didn't know they came in meat flavors. Okay, now we can get on our way to our party. But first, let's make a pit stop at the club to pick up some freshman babes who are super horny for, for attention and acceptance. Is that what I should be looking for? Wowee, I'm learning so much about being cool. I can't wait to apply everything I'm learning in this into real life. Wow, a real college party. Oh, I should be uh, taking some notes. All right, here we are at the club. It's time to whip it out. My completely unjustified, rock-solid confidence, that is. No. 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 Oh, that one seems decent. <laughs> Man, if they made a beer that tastes like I'd shotgun a whole six-pack every other Wednesday and ask it if it finished. Oh, he is so cute. Oh, gosh, I should be writing this down. Beer equals get chicks. That pickup line secured me three Snapchats and a court date. So, three for four. All right, now that I've collected enough Snapchats, we should be able to get into the party. Oh no, I have enough girls, but my cloud bar is too low. Let's boost it up. SoundCloud sounds fun. I used to post my ukulele covers on there. Well, I mean, until it was removed because I somehow had a negative amount of followers, so they thought I was a bot. Um, but yeah, let's get into the, uh, to the rap scene. I told her I was too old for a bedtime. That one day I would be making my way to the biggest headline. She said, son, you're a seven-year-old toddler. Get back to bed. It's a school night. But look at me now. I'm on top of the world. Am I right? Okay, okay, go off, Chad. My rap's murder versus, like, NCIS. My future is super bright, like the teeth of Ryan Seacrest. I have a big dick, a, a really big dick, and you know it's true because it's a super duper thick. But it's not that long, it's just three inches wide. It's a medical problem and something I hide. Whoa, one like that filled the cloud bar. All right, now we can go to the party. The bouncer gave me a mean side eye, but I made it in. All right, now I'm being challenged by the main frat guy. It's time for beer pong. Winner gets the girl. Loser gets circumcised publicly on the quad. Talk about a cut and run. Oh, geez, Chad. I hope we don't lose our penis pockets. Don't worry. We won't lose. I have a huge dick. Well, I don't see what that really has to do anything, but okay. All right, let's play. We won! We won! This is the first game I ever won in my life. Well, it's the first one I've ever been invited to, actually. Nice job. Now we can have any girl in here. Well, gosh, um, uh, uh, let's pick... Hannah. That's my sister's name. Okay. Great. Let's show this girl a good time. Here's a tip I learned in high school. Just pretend you're driving a stick shift. A stick shift. Noted. No! Dang it! <sighs> Well, even though I died, at least I learned a lot of skills that are very valuable, and hey, look, now I'm popular. Um, hello? Hello? <laughs> Welcome back to Impractical Jokers. Sal, Murray, and Joe are still in the control room and they're feeding Lonsecue, who is currently posing as a financial advisor. The catch? 
He knows nothing about finance or advertising, and neither do these three. <laughs> All right, Q. I can't believe we're going to make him do this. All right, when your client walks in, you're going <laughs> to... This is so bad. <laughs> you're going to do five jumping jacks, and you're going to make a fart noise with your mouth and shake his hand between your legs like it's completely normal. What? No way, dude. I'm not making a fart noise with my mouth. You have to or you're going to be a loser. And you'll have to be punished. Forget it. A punishment can't be worse than making a fart noise with my mouth. I'm out. Boo. 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 All right, Sal. You're up. As long as you do better than Q, you'll win. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. I wouldn't speak to you soon, Sally, my boy. Do you want to explain the challenge, Joe? All right, Sal. We're here outside the Single Mothers Convention. We're going to have you go up on stage with a PB sandwich. That's a PB and J without the J. And force feed it onto one of the single mothers. The catch is there are five single mothers here that are deathly allergic to peanut butter. <laughs> and Q has their epitaph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Come on, guys, this is really bad. I could kill someone. That's the point. <laughs> All right, I hate to be a Q here, but there's no way I can do that. Are you just practically joking with me right now? This was an easy one. Potentially murdering single mothers and withholding their life-saving medication is easy? Okay, okay, well, you know what that means. Sal's officially tonight's big loser. So Sal, for your punishment, you have to feed the sandwiches to all of the mothers. Oh, no, no, no. What is this, season one? It's a two-parter. You have to go around, the first you have to go around, and lock all the exits in the building. There should be a key in your back pocket. OK, fine. I like them all. Now what? Take a peek under that table to your left and tell us what you see. Uh, it, is that a gallon of gasoline? You betcha! Your punishment is that you have to set the whole building on fire. The catch? You could only allow one single mother to escape with her life. You have to listen to all the pleas of all the single moms, and whichever one resonates with you the most is the one you can allow to survive. And the worst part... We haven't gotten to the worst part? <laughs> no, no, no. The worst part is the punishment. You have to adopt all the children of the soon-to-be-burned-alive mothers and write a children's book to read to them about their parents' fiery fate. This is so good! <laughs> I can't believe he's gonna do it! Guys, this is beyond sadistic. This is inhumane. This is... Impractical! No, this is illegal. Wow. wow. No, it's definitely illegal. FBI, we have the place surrounded. All right, well, I guess you get out of this one, Sal. This one was almost as bad as when you made an we made you embarrass yourself in that mall. <laughs> almost as bad? This bordered mass on mass murder. Please, don't be so dramatic. All right, well, looks like Sal lucked out on this one. Looks like we've got enough time for a quick PSA. thought fresh air breaks and mental health days were exciting just wait till you hear about our new dining plans we just introduced a new mobile ordering app transact that makes the dining process about 82 times more inconvenient and who doesn't love a good chicken sandwich because if you don't you better get used to it because it's about the only option that we've got and it should come to no surprise with this wide array of choices that the lines are going down the block around the corner down to the jersey shore and back but fear not, Bobcats, because the staff has got your back. Just to make your four-hour waiting time even more beneficial, we took away all the seating! So, now you get that exercise that you need. Happy standing! They call me Maxi, but I prefer Tripod. I was your above-average four-legged homie, and then wham, bam, minivan. Some people pity me. Now that's lame. I still run, fetch, and swim. And the ladies love me. I'm the ultimate wingman. Just don't ask me to high five. Hey! There are
are amazing things to discover in the forest. Toothless, time to go! <laughs> what you picking up on, bud? It's a whole hidden world of wonders and the perfect place to spend time with family. What better place to let your imagination soar? Experience nature and create a memory you can share. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest or park near you. Bobcats. Let's talk about our university's newest mine pit, the 10-year plan. A team of five old crotchety white dudes and one old crotchety white lady have been racking their brains for the most essential contributions our gigantic coffers could make for the student body. After three years locked in a conference room, they've decided we're getting the rock wall, bitches. Well, not that we include you guys. Yeah, you'll be long gone by the time it gets here. We're just using it to trap impressionable high schoolers into spending their parents' money here. Do you remember Zoopels with that annoying jingle that would play in between the cartoons? We have something exactly like that, but no. Take a look. Boomer. Growl, growl, black bear. Off squirrels. Two pals give you the runs. runs. When, when you clean your plate, then you see your fate. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wah, Boomer. Growl, growl, black bear. Off squirrels. <laughs> COVID. Two pals See into the ever present, never ending abyss of purgatory. Eating off these plates grants you access to unimaginable agony. Pain. 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 Kill me! Enjoy your party. <laughs> so much more. So much blood. Make it stop. Please make it stop. Two hours. These announcements are getting weirdly prisony. We should take a look. Listen up, those. The system has broken itself. You get nothing in this world if you aren't thinking about number one. The school decided that anybody who is a threat to the student body gets a free 10-day vacation. I licked my infected poppy's urinary pan to secure my ticket, and I think that's the greatest dorm hack in existence. Sure, the doors are locked from the outside, the toilet wine is just north of Francia, and the mints in the bathroom make me burp bubbles. But hey, when in Rome, if Rome was a three-star hotel with the legally acceptable amount of rodents before it's classified as an infestation. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your favorite brother, your other brother. You. Yes. Your football buddy. Your football buddy. 
You, the boss, the boss's boss. If one in three adults has prediabetes, that means it could be you, your barber, your barber's barber. Nice work. Thanks. Thanks. You, your plumber. Breathe right into your foot. Your plumber's masseuse. Yes. You, your dog walker. On your left. Your cat jogger. Or you, your co-pilot. Your co-pilot's co-pilot. While one in three adults has prediabetes, with early diagnosis, prediabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org to know where you stand. What's up, everybody? It's time for some hot goss. I'm Johnny with an O. And I'm Fiona, also with an O. Starting off with some local news, there will be a parking ban instated tonight at 8 p.m. due to the winter weather. The snow may or may not fall this evening, but you'll have to move your car and attend class remotely anyway. Students are strongly advised to give up and leave their cars at York Hill until May. Speaking of snow, if you're thinking of going to the student center, Bring a first aid kit, because there's no chance you're making it without busting your badoosie on the ground. Can confirm. In other news, despite being closed alongside the rest of the country, Hogan Lot remains a hot spot for partygoers. I've seen it with my own eyes. Girls clown carring into Ubers and droves, dressed for what can only be an evening of getting drunk in close quarters with strangers. I'm honestly just as confused as where y'all are going. Who's throwing parties right now? How is this happening? And why are things starting out starting at 5 p.m.? In national news, the cold is taking the country by storm, and even the frat guys that normally wear shorts in the winter have upgraded to sweatpants. That's how bad you know it is. Well, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. I do not miss being blinded by doughy man thighs on the quad. You know what rhymes with thighs? Surprise! And it's no surprise that COVID is worse than ever. Shocking. Great transition, Fiona. There's still, there's no need to fear. The savior we've been waiting for is here. That's right, McDonald's is bringing back high C. You heard me, high C. The antidote to any and all ailments. I heard that high C gave Grandpa Joe the power to walk again. Man, Grandpa Joe's a bastard. True, high C isn't the only thing making a comeback though. Take out your 2021 bingo cards because Rebecca Black is back with her hit song Friday. The 2011 viral sensation has turned 10 this year and Black released a new remix to celebrate it on a Wednesday. Keeping in the early 2010s, y'all remember that one hit wonder Silento, also known as the watch me whip guy? Well, wonder no longer folks, he murdered his cousin. And let's hope that whatever ce celebrity jail he ends up in, he doesn't bunk with Army Hammer. If Army Hammer gets a little peckish, Silento will nay nay no more. That's right, celebrity Army Hammer has officially been accused of being a cannibal. Hey, hey, you know what? If there was a movie about Silento and Army Hammer sharing a cell, it'd be called Silento of the Lambs. <laughs> Fun fact, Army Hammer starred as the Winklevoss twins in the movie The Social Network originally. One of the parts was supposed to be played by his twin brother, but they had to switch to a CGI replacement because he ate him in the middle of principal photography. <sighs> Homie's gonna need a Super Bowl to chow down all those people. Did you say Super Bowl? Like, the big football game that just happened? As a matter of fact, I did. The Super Bowl just this past weekend happened. Isn't that crazy? Like, they actually did the Super Bowl, you know, put 25,000 people in a stadium to watch a football game. You know, like, have fun, hope you don't die. It wasn't even an exciting game. The liveliest part was the streaker that spread his cheeks in the end zone. That guy's the real winner. 
Hell yeah, he is. Apparently, he took home $300,000 for that stunt. Insane. I'd get naked for a fiver. We know, Johnny. We know. Another sticky situation that's been in the headlines recently is the story of a woman who ran out of hairspray. So reasonably assumed the best alternative was everyone's favorite industrial adhesive, Gorilla Glue. I don't know if she was shopping at the hardware store for hair products, but this whole fiasco has led to a 22-hour ER visit with doctors taking full advantage of the masks to hide the fact that they're laughing their asses off, along with a lawsuit against the company. This feels like a great time to introduce today's guest. Please welcome Gorilla Glue spokesperson, Gorilla Greg. Thank you for having me on to address this unique situation. All I have to say is you can't put it on your skin, you can't put it in your eyes, and you can't eat it. Why would you put it in your hair? What the hell possessed you to do that? You don't deserve hair. On behalf of the entire Gorilla Glue family of products, suck a dick. Gorilla Greg, out. Simply inspiring, Greg. Always a pleasure to have him on the show. Well, on that note, that's all we have for this week's Hot Goss. I have been Fiona. And I've been Johnny, still with an O. Right. Good night, everybody. It's been over a month since the Capitol insurrection, and we're still really, really angry about it. So angry that we made a whole segment about it. Take a look. I, uh, I didn't see you there. Well, I was just about to go stage this, uh, peaceful protest, but, uh, you know, before I do, why don't we go over the do's and don'ts of storming a government building? All right, so let's talk about your approach. There will most likely be stairs at the building, but wait. You never know where there could be a leftist booby trap. The safest way is to scale the walls that are attached to the stairs. Make sure you're wearing as much red as possible, the Confederate flag being the best. You can shop at any supply store south of Pennsylvania. They should have some in stock. You may encounter some traders trying to mace you in your all-American eyes. So here are some of the best dance moves and dodges that can get you out of the way of the spray. Once you get in the building, it's time to start the witch hunt scavenger hunt, patent pending. Make sure to take your time, because there's a lot of items for you to find. Senate and House Speaker podiums. Furniture from historic offices. Panic buttons from offices of libtards. Tasers, preferably stored right next to your family jewels. And, of course, Nancy Pelosi's laptop. Remember, whenever you do something patriotic, who rock? Remember to record it and put it on Facebook with the hashtag Blue Lives Matter until they don't. Now, not only are you going to want to steal some stuff, you're going to want to leave a mess. Trashing furniture is a good start, but don't you think the situation could get a little more sticky? Well, you know what they say, if you want to stand out, smear some brown, then get out. That's right, there's nothing better than leaving your fresh DNA samples smeared all across the halls of the people's house. And if you happen to see a standing office fan, you have a 100% organic projectile. Get abstract with it. Wait, so do we just bring bags of pre-packed or do we just in our hands in the hallway and go to town? Yes. When you get outside, the fake news media will be out there ready to attack you. But don't worry. What the media won't tell you is that all of the representatives are Basically human punching bags. Kick them, punch them in the back of the head, throw them down a pile of stairs. Have a blast, go at it, they're gonna be fine. But just make sure afterwards that you clearly and calmly state your name and address so that President Trump is able to give you a pardon when the judgment day comes. If you can't manage to knock the cameraman over, just take an onion and rub it all over your face. Make it look like you put up a decent fight. Just remember, if you're going to tempt any of the things recommended in this guide, make sure that you do just one thing. Follow through. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm a little beside myself. I, I thought this was supposed to be like 1776 again, and then I find out at like 6 o'clock, it just ends? It's over? I mean, like, come on, guys. That's ridiculous. I thought you were supposed to be bringing in, like, 
the whole new world order, but then it, you, 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 cops tell you that it's, it's nighttime and you just bend over and you take it? I don't, I don't understand. I, you, you called the, the government's bluff. You did it. You said, you said, I'm going to do something about it. And then you just bend over and take it? I just don't get it, guys. I, you had the initiative, the balls, the gall, and you just, you turn around and, and you, you, you just ruin it. I don't understand. Do you understand that they got everything on you? Like, everything on you. You're taking videos, selfies, posting it to Facebook. I got two words for you, mother Patriot Act. They got everything on you. You're going. You're gone. Guantanamo Bay is getting more residents. You committed terrorism. They follow up on that s***. Call your lawyer. God, I can't handle you, mother This message was brought to you by Antifa. You know, the anti-fascist. And that's our show. Thank you for your support by logging on and spending your Thursday night with us. We would like to thank you at home for supporting us online. We appreciate your efforts to keep everyone safe. And another big thanks to the cast and crew for putting on an awesome show. Don't forget to find us on social media. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Quinnipiac Tonight. And make sure to subscribe to Q30 TV on YouTube as well. And we have an app now. Make sure to download the Q30 app and stay up to date with our show and all things Q30. We will see you for our third show of the season on February 18th next week on a special Valentine's Day episode. Have, have a wonderful, a wonderful night, night, everyone. everyone. we